Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Neverwinter Nights. I'm Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today here with Giladel Valongar. Valongar is a better name, and I re-rolled the character. And thank you so much, Rainer Zufall and Archibaldius, for uh, for pointing out the very, very bad build that I had. I took the time to look at a, uh, well, it's a really 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 detailed walkthrough of how to build a ranger and apparently Banger rangers in uh, Dungeons and Dragons 3.0 which is the rule set that uh, Neverwinter Nights has uh, or 3.5 which is basically a consolidated version of 3.0 um, rangers aren't, aren't really that well loved and I don't see why they're amazing and apparently the guy that built the uh, the walkthrough that I link uh, in the in the description below so if you want to check it out and want to build a ranger for yourself or if you want to just you know brush up on um, on how these works he goes through great great lengths and great great details about explaining every single thing uh, that can make your ranger really really good and uh, while it's not gonna be the best in terms of uh, of damage apparently uh, it's still gonna be a lot of fun and I really hope it's gonna be a lot of fun reading that I'll walk through really made me uh, look at things properly and uh, well this is the build that I have. Uh, basically, I didn't go with uh, 16 strength because apparently 16 is what you need for uh, a composite longbow. I didn't go with that because I want to have a little bit of intelligence right there for spell casting. If I can, wisdom, no need to have uh, 16, oh, 17 wisdom, which I think I, is what I had. And also, no need to have uh, basically half. Uh, like uh, uneven or odd, yeah, not uneven, uh, odd numbers in uh, in uh, in the build because apparently that's really really bad. Uh, so that's what I went with. Um, and yeah, I also want to thank um, Case Motor, uh, Case uh, Case Monster Triple X, sorry, um, for pointing out mods to me. So I installed the community patch, and it, that's also linked in the description below. And I also installed a very very important patch or mod. I can't rest while there are enemies nearby. These enemies, I believe. Are the these guys up here the uh, the guys in the menagerie? Uh, because I killed everybody. It's it's basically the same game. I mean, we're we're in the, uh, we're in the uh, oh, wait a minute. Maybe I didn't kill everybody. I was looking. Oh yeah, there's Take these guys. Did I came come over here last episode? I think I did. But anyway, I installed the community patch, which is really easy to install. I also installed a, a mod. Oh boy. Uh, and also have my sword over here that might come in handy when cl at close range because that that way I don't have the minus four. <sighs> Uh, to attack, um, so yeah, um, so basically, and also the parry, which is pretty nice, pretty nice against these crappier enemies, of course. Uh, so basically, I installed a mod that lets me sleep faster, which is good because for you guys it makes no difference. It just allows me to not have to cut the video every few every time I do this. Let's re oh boy, let's rest. No, damn it, where the hell? Oh, may not rest at this time. Okay, we're good. We're good. It means it means that. Uh, it means that, um, yeah, I came here, I think. Uh, it means that, um, basically, it, it, it's, it, I don't need to break the video, which is nice. Uh, because resting is an important thing in this game. And let's just look at that. There it is. And see the speed? I'm not going to rest right now. Because we have places to be. Well, actually, I should rest right now because we have places to be. But we're going to use um, Alabeth, uh, Arabeth's, uh, Aribeth's, or Ala, or Ara. Adi Betsky over here to open this huge door. Let's go on through. Oh. We're leaving. We're leaving the Academy. So if you forgot about last episode, basically the Academy got attacked. The city is under siege. And uh, you can hear people screaming. You got a mysterious major there, there that's going to take a should. shot to the face. What? You survived? Ah, oh, that matters not. You will die here. Will I? Will I now? I might actually. Uh, let's see, so he is barely injured. That's really actually quite bad. I'm gonna try to fall back, and uh, falling back here is gonna be a good thing. Oh, he's gonna cast spells on me. Okay, I think he is not casting spells. What the hell is he doing? What the hell? He stopped combat. He actually stopped. Oh, he summoned, he summoned those guys. Okay, so let's sneak in because I decided to go with sneak uh, because it's a it's a class skill. And it's better to level up. I also didn't pick uh, lock picks or pick locks rather uh, because it's not a class skill and you need to spend a lot of skill points. Uh, and yeah, it's 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 just not beneficial late game. Um, but yeah, anyway, the original campaign is easy to play through uh, with any build, even if it's not optimized. At least, at least according to to, to just people on the internet uh, but that's not the thing the thing is after I'm done with the original campaign I'm gonna go through the campaign uh, through the um, through the expansion campaigns and uh, I wanna ooh, what is that lesser restoration 
Can I learn that? Also, I don't have the the yeah. I didn't I didn't buy the yeah. <clears throat> oh my bad, my bad. <laughs> Can I learn this? Uh, I think I might be able to. Let's see how that works. So I didn't pick any spells for me. So I got special abilities, which is defensive casting mode. But uh, on the ranger, I don't really have any spells for right now. So I think we're going to pick up spells as we level up. I think that's how it is. I think that's how I remember it being anyway. Uh, but yeah, let's go into this chest. I can spot traps, though. Ooh, what is that? A breastplate. Don't need that. Uh, the armor. Yeah, it's not, it's not great. Don't really want that. Uh, let's, I, I don't think anyway, uh, let's see, base armor class 2, uh, arcane cannon, that's not a problem, the problem here is the maximum dexterity bonus, which is not really the issue, but, uh, well, eh, should I use this? I don't know, I think so, I think so, because I'm, I think, I think I, I should keep, keep to, um, light armor, light armor is gonna be the thing for our guy. Just make him a little bit better in terms of shooting things, especially later on. For right now, I don't think it matters much because we only have, only have 16 dexterity. But uh, let's go through this. Oh, man. This map is big. Let me open the mini-map. Oh, it is. Hey, Pavel, you survived? I didn't know. Oh, I saw your brother. Yeah. Thank the gods you are here. I thought those goblins were going to be the death of me. Uh, it's me, Pavel, remember? Th this this whole place is crawling with enemies. They killed my brother, B Bim. Please, Giladel, you have to d let me join up with you. Join up? Yeah, everybody needs some extra help. So someone once in a while. Someone with skills you don't have, or sometimes you just need some extra muscle or magical firepower. That's why most towns have places you can go to hire henchmen to join up with you. When you talk to them, they'll be quick to offer their services for a fee. But I'm not asking you to pay me anything. I just want to join up with you so I can avenge Bim's death and maybe get out of here alive. Oh, yes, yeah, so just join me up with me and then. Oh, well, I'll, I'll follow you and use my skills to help you out. If you ever want to give me more specific instructions, just speak to me. I'll change my tactics accordingly. Really? Okay. I've got a mind of my own, but you're the one in charge here. I'll let you help. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll need your help, too. If I get hurt, I might need you to heal me. Okay. Can you... Oh, he's still talking. It's just the same exact length. Um, if you can't, uh, if you can't cast healing spells, use a potion to heal me. Just drag one to me from your inventory, and I'll use it. Now let's get out of here. Well, thank you very much, sir. Let's get you. Um, so I can order him by doing this. The problem is casting spells with. That's why people say that uh, the wizard, as a as a uh, as a partner, is bad because casting spells with them is a pain and I imagine it would be because you want your spells down here most likely uh, so what yes. I want to do yes let's uh, change your tactics I need you to stay uh, mm-hmm I need you change your distance let's go with the uh, 12 feet okay 12 feet is good okay thank you very much and the reason is I want to use him as a muscle. Uh, and can I control him? No, I can't. Okay. Mm-hmm. The trade of blades. I'm not going to read that for right now. We are in a hurry. We're maybe going to read some books every once in a while, but not right now. What do we have over here? Uh, Waterdeep. Learning about Waterdeep. Yeah, I think that's where you go in Icewind Dale. Oh, no. Icewind Dale, you go to Icewind Dale. Duh. Why do you go to Waterdeep? I'm pretty sure you... Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. That's right. In Neverwinter Nights 1, you go to Waterdeep. I think in Neverwinter Nights 2 as well. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, you, we're going to water deep in this game. Not not really a spoiler. It's just just what it is. Okay, so we have one hallway that leads that way, and we got a tough goblin. Oh, we have plenty of them over here. Okay, let's fall back and let me see if I can shoot that guy. You should. Let's go. The thing is, oh no, 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 you dummy! No. Okay, I think I'm gonna be able to kill. It's just a weak goblin, so we should be okay. What let's the hell is he doing over there? Hey, you are a terrible, terrible partner. A awful. I I want to talk to you. I want to tell you. That uh, you were a yes. terrible, terrible partner. Yeah, I need, yep. Change distance. I want six feet. I want you right up against me every day of the week, and of the month, and of the year. Just stay close to me. We will be fine. Okay, so over here, yeah, it's not sticking. He's a terrible, terrible companion. <sighs> okay, we have undead. That's our favorite, favorite, our uh, favorite enemy. I'm gonna fall back. See if they engage him. They, he doesn't even. Yeah. E there it is. There it is. Okay, that's a kill right there. Was that a... Is that... Is he got pro? No. No. He's dead. Good for you, mate. Good for you. Barely injured. I think we'll be fine. He will sleep with you as well, if you want to. And I kind of do, because that's quite important. Uh, and, of course, I'm talking about gameplay. Hmm. Let's see what we have here. 
I don't think you can have romances with your companions. I'm pretty sure you can't. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can have romances in this game, because it's a Bioware game. But uh, I suppose, I don't know. I have no idea. It might be a long game as well. You know, in terms yes? of... No, 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 no never mind. Something? No, 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 you're good. You're good. Bye. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's go this way. Actually, going through... Let me open... Let me... Nope. There it is. Um... Yeah, so it goes the same exact destination as before, except it's got Let those problems up here. You. Ooh, nice shot. Kachi, kachu, kacha! No, damn you, it's, you're terrible. You're terrible, can I attack Bring nearest? It to me! Uh, well, it's too late now. Attack the other guy. Yeah, of course. Of course. Oh, that's a, the tough goblin right there. Kill the tough goblin then! Are you gonna hit? Oh, what was a hit? Right there. That's what you get, and that guy's going down by his hit right there. I think you can look at his inventory. Or is that a mod? Uh, I think it's a mod. I might I might install it. Uh, I think it is a mod. I saw a mod for that anyway. Gloves of Discipline. Not really something for me, because I don't need discipline. And we got Resist Elements. That is, maybe, something for me. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, uh, so let's see. Gloves. Where are the gloves? There they are. Uh, they're probably going to be... Yeah, just skill bonus. I'm still going to use them, but it doesn't matter because I'm not going to cast spells. Uh, and I'm not, definitely not going to cast spells in the middle of battle because ranger spells are mostly just uh, for pre-buffs and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, it's not going to be a thing that we're going to use too much. Although, eh, well, there's always the heal. The, 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 there's a healing spell. Yeah, for that, uh, concentration is good, but it's not going to do too much, I don't think. Okay, so let's sneak up on these guys and see what we have. Oh, I got detected already. It's Geldar. No, I didn't get detected. Hey, what's going on, man? Many fierce enemies await you beyond this door. You will need to draw upon all you have learned here at the Academy to survive. You have gained much experience, Giladel, but to put that experience to use, I must first teach you how to level up. No, I don't need... no, no. Oh, as you wish. You may pass through the south door only after you have leveled up. Man, these guys... Who was telling Bioware back in 2000 that Baldur's Gate was too hard to play? Seriously, who was telling them, sending them letters every day because they just shoved tutorials down your face? It's easy! And I say as I fail to level up. Uh, it's over there. It's a huge button. Much in, like in Baldur's Gate, really. Uh, let's see. So we are going to level up. Yeah, we can sell it, uh, we can go multi-class right off the bat, I think. Is that multi-class or dual-class? I never know the difference. Uh, so let's see. What am I going to level up? Now we can only level up one point per thing. So that means that we can concentrate on skills that we didn't pick. So these are my skills. I got Animal Empathy as before, uh, because I remember that being good. Uh, I got Heal and Hide. We didn't have hide. I got move silence, uh, silently, which we didn't have either. We can level up over here, but that's going to cost a bunch. So that's the problem. It's just going to waste skill points uh, if you one of these things. I got search, which is uh, which is good, and I like that because of detecting things and spot as well, which is important because of enemies that are hidden and all that sort of stuff. And because I am, well, I use my eyes to shoot, so I think that would fit. What I'm going to go with and I don't have is set traps. The thing is, I don't, I never use these in uh, Dungeons and Dragons games. Probably much to my to my uh, loss, really, because they, they they do a lot of damage. It's just that I don't use that. So I'm gonna go with move silently. I'm gonna prioritize here. I'm gonna move, uh, I'm gonna go with move silently, heal, and hide, and then I am probably gonna pick listen later on as well. Lauren, uh, no, no, Lauren is not important. Uh, so, no, for, for us. Uh, so we got spot. No, let's not go with spot. I think I can go with set traps. Should I go with set traps? Nah, let's go with set traps. I don't have too many of them either. Uh, so I'm gonna need to buy them, but they, they can be picked up every once in a while, so it doesn't really matter uh, And there is there is that let's the level up summary uh, summary summary whatever. It's the it's that word right there We have uh, 11 hit points, which is fantastic because we only had eight uh, We got set traps mostly and that's basically that it didn't really matter much in terms of leveling up because he didn't give us anything that we didn't know we had uh, like for example skill points uh, not skill points um Spell points who opened this door. I didn't open this door Automatic doors in Neverwinter Nights. Oh boy. Okay, we got goblins Let in the here. Earth take you. Seriously, are you that blind? Okay, attack the nearest you dummy. I don't. I have no idea what he's trying to do. Okay, he's doing his thing. He's doing his thing. Oh man, the doors go. are a problem for for archers. Okay. Well, we did well. We did well, Pavel. You're good. You're a good guy. 
You're a good guy. The only guy we have, really, but, well, it's what it is. So let's see what we have over here in these crates. Also, another terrible, terrible thing that I remembered off camera, not on camera, apparently on camera I'm better at this. Uh, but it's a, it has a terrible thing in this game that I always, always hated, which is the stacking of, of, uh, of moves. And it, it, I don't think it serves for any purpose, really, apart from, you know, the obvious one that you can stack, like, waypoints and stuff. Uh, that's what pathfinding is for. Um, which is double-clicking. If you double-click, he opens and closes. <laughs> Why? Why did they not catch this? Why is it that like that? Why oh, am I god? And I always hated that. That's probably a mod to remove that actually, but I always hated that with all the fibers of my being. They changed this game so much from Baldur's Gate, really. Uh, and yeah, I, I didn't actually notice that when I played it on camera the first, uh, the previous two episodes. But uh, when I did it off camera, I just why? Why did he go these directions? Yeah. Like why? Uh, everything just oh there it is yeah Pebble's doing well he's really injured go! so he hasn't been hit uh, yet he doesn't have armor I don't think because that is his normal yeah. garment I think yeah let's go with that nice okay okay and also the reason why I didn't install any graphical uh, mods uh, is mostly because I found that graphical mods were mostly for um, for Machim Ma Mashimina? Is it Mashimina? I think it's Mashimina, the name. Uh, for Mashimina purposes, like uh, inc improved faces, improved clothing. And we're usually so far up that it doesn't really matter. Um, and you can't really zoom in. There's a mod to improve your uh, zooming in capabilities as well. You can go into first person, you can go zoom in, so zoom out so far that uh, it it's crazy. I hope I'm not missing anything. I don't think I am. Um, and uh, yeah, so we just, in terms of that, I didn't Let wanna... the earth take you. See what you've got. I really didn't want to change the nature of the game, I think. So you're going to attack whoever's nearest. I'm not going to close doors. That guy's already dead. I'm going to try and shoot at... Can you stop talking to him? That'd be fantastic. Oh, he takes, fa he takes face damage. Face damage, the worst kind of damage. Okay, these skeletons. Actually, I should be paying attention to why the skeletons are here. So I suppose we're facing not only summoners, but actually necromancers. What is that over there? That is soundburst. We can't use that for some reason. What's the level, level requirement or something? Uh, innate level n number two? It requires... It's for bard and cleric, so I think that might be the reason. Uh, let's actually let's check. Cleric druid... I don't know. I have no idea why. Maybe intelligent requirement? Does it say over there? Uh, only usable by bard and cleric. But wouldn't these ones be only usable by bard? No, it's... No, okay, there it is. That's the difference right there. We have a kukri and we have a copper ring. Okay, it's good stuff. What do we have over here? Ooh, a cloak. Cloak of protection versus evil. Oh, yeah. I am... I'm gonna be a, a, a paladin of evil. Or, no, actually a paladin, but a ranger of... Against evil. Not a paladin of evil. No, that's not... It's definitely what, I, not what I'm gonna... What, not what I'm gonna be. We got Helm. Helm right there is the, um... One of the good deities of, uh, of Faerun. And, uh, we're not gonna mess with him. Or his paladins. Because they're all friends. I remind you, Giladel is lawful good. Yep. Yeah, he's here because of honor and duty. And mostly duty, but all honor as well. Uh, because he didn't have... Well... He didn't have the opportunities as he grew up to uh, serve. He doesn't. He doesn't actually have any god for right now. We might. We might pick up a god for him later on, but we didn't pick any god. You can choose the deity for uh, for your character in the character creation, but we didn't have us. We didn't have that. Uh, Luskan. Yeah, that's a city of thieves. We have read read about those. Taste of my wrath. And also the arrows. Let's bring that guy down. There it is. Okay, and what we have over here, Alchemist's Apparatus, with some potions. Take those, thank you very much. These potions, what are they for? Buffs, Strength, and uh, Cat's Grace. That's for Dexterity, I assume. And what do we have over here? Oh, another potion. Ale! Oh, that's not a potion. Is it a potion? What is that for? Um, potion store various... I know what it is, but why... Special properties. Alcohol, beer, single use. Okay. Well, it's not beer, it's ale. I suppose it's a type of beer. I, I suppose. I'm not really sure. Okay. Good stuff. Let's move on. So we could have gone in through there. Ah, actually, I remember I remember always doing this like that. Uh, not going in through the main door. Uh, because there's guys over there waiting for us. Speaking of which, let's sneak. And we got a weak skeleton over there. Just surveying the area is a good thing. It's just a weak skeleton. Oh, yeah. come on, Pavel. He's dead already. Oh, there's the spellcaster up there. Am I gonna finally kill him? Oh, yeah. dude, seriously, attack that guy. Oh, you are you can heal yourself. Well, in that case, screw you. Uh, seriously, what the hell are you doing? 
Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Can you attack that? Can I order him to attack a specific guy? Uh, stand your ground, guard me. More actions. I think maybe... Oh, I can look at his inventory from here. No, of course. Of course he's not... I'm not capable of looking at his inventory at all. So, ooh, I didn't go over here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I think entering through here... Oh, I remember this clearly. This battle over here. It, for some reason, it always gave me trouble. That spellcaster... Uh, was always a problem, but, well, I, I guess I'm not looking at my health this time around. There are enemies nearby. Yeah, my health is not really looking that great. Can you heal me? Uh, heal me. No, he can't. Nope, can't do that. Nah, apparently not. We got an archer's belt, which is fantastic. Can I equip it? Uh, which is fantastic because it's for, it's for me. Damage resistance, piercing, oh boy, it's not. It's a, it's a belt for anybody that's against archers. Also, I need to equip this. What's that for? Uh, armor class versus evil plus two. Armor class deflection. Uh, or armor class, basically, that's deflection. And then you have uh, the armor rating, I think that's how it goes against uh, damage. Hmm. Not 100% sure. It's the rules. It's the rules I really prefer. I honestly do prefer. Um, I have never played uh, uh, Dungeons and Dragons uh, version 4 or 5. Oh boy. I should have slept. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't have I. Well, that's time for a potion, I guess. Never use these. Right there. Okay. Kill the dryad! What dryad? Don't kill the dryad! They are nice! There's a dryad over there. You can see her. I must oh, she's I off. What? Who was that? Oh boy. I think these were the uh, Water Davian creatures. The dryad would be one. Let's see what you've got! Oh, you're coming. This guy's coming. Yeah, no, he's, he's an idiot. Just wanted the attack of opportunity right there. And those guys are our, our friends. I think we're good. Dester, Indeline, and Fenthic Moss. Hey man, what happened? We came too late. The creatures are lost. The academy students slain. No, this cannot be. How could this happen? All is lost, Fenthic. The nymph has fled. The Yonti and the other creatures have escaped into the streets of the city. And where was Arabeth during all this? I've come from Lady Arabeth. She sent me to protect the creatures. Oh, you are the student she sent? Did Arabeth really think a whelp such as this could defend the Waterdavian creatures? She should have come herself. Is she really so blind, Fenthic? Dester, I will have you speak no more ill of Lady Arabeth. She did what she thought was best. Ah, I know of the feelings you and Lady Arabeth have for each other, but it does nothing to change the facts. She was wrong to bring the creatures here. I will leave you and your lady love to clean up this mess, Fendic, and I must go and make arrangements to recover the cure Arabeth has so carelessly lost. I need to speak to you. Yeah, I know, Pevel. What do you need want? I owe you my life, Giladel. Without you, I wouldn't have made it out of here. I, I could have died, just like my brother. Uh, you've got what it takes to be a great hero, Giladel, maybe even a legend, but this life isn't for me. I know that now. Well, you know, you just... Some... Yeah, you just have to stick with it, Pavel, I guess. All I could think about it in there was how afraid I was of dying. I wanted to curl up in a corner and just close my eyes to everything. Those, uh, Yeah, you did. You were a terrible companion. I told you that many times. Uh, those aren't the thoughts of a hero. No, they are not. Thank you once more for saving me. I know you'll be a great hero someday, but I don't want to risk my neck for fame and fortune. I'm no hero. I just want a nice, quiet life. I doubt our paths will cross again anytime soon. Goodbye, and good luck. Goodbye, Pavel. See you later. And also look, look after that injury. He's gone. He's dematerializing. That's what he does. Hey, Fanthic, what's up, man? You must forgive, Dester. The strain of the Wailing Death weighs heavily on the Helmites. As their leader, Dester has worked long and hard to help ease the suffering of Neverwinter. And this most recent setback has upset him greatly. I'm Fenthic Moss, priest of Tyr and companion of the Lady Arabeth. You must be the student Arabeth told me about. Yeah, Giladel, yeah. Um, yeah, let's just say this. Dester and I arrived with reinforcements shortly after the attack began. We found Arabeth in the South Assembly Chamber, hard-pressed by a dozen of the mysterious assailants. We managed to drive off the attackers, and Arabeth told us that she had sent one of the students on ahead to defend the Waterdavian creatures. 
While Aribat tended to the wounded, one of the mages who had arrived with the reinforcements teleported Dazder and me to this room. Alas, we arrived to find the cages upturned and creatures fleeing. Yeah, so, um... Desder, uh, Desder is actually a Helmite, which means that he is a, is a, is a priest of Elhelm, which Elhelm, uh, sorry for the stutter, uh, priest of Helm, which is the god that I was talking about before. Uh, and we're gonna learn about Helm a little bit later, so yeah, it doesn't really matter reading that for right now. Um, do you know who attacked the academy, Fenthic? Uh, we have no clues as to who planned the attack, and I doubt any prisoners we have t will know anything about who is truly behind this. A few straggling goblins are all that remain of our attackers, but I fear we have lost this battle. The Awadadavian creatures are gone. In any case, discovering their identity is secondary. Our first priority must be to recapture the Awadadavian creatures so that we may extract a cure for the Wailing Death. And actually, that's gonna entangle all the first act of this game, is just getting the four Awadadavian creatures. That's our adventure for right now. Uh, so, would, would, no, no rewards, I don't need that. Um, that's lawful good right there. Uh, mm, yeah, I will help you in, in this task, Fenthic. From all accounts, you are a capable man, Giladel. Aribath told me to the, told me told me the instructors at the academy spoke very highly of you. I do not know what role you are to play in this, Giladel. That is for my lady Aribath to decide. You must meet her at the halls of justice in the coming week. Lady Aribath will have more information for you then. Hopefully, you will have a better understanding of what we are up against. We must all do our part, Giladel. Yep. I, um, I, I will meet you there, but I want to ask you some questions before that. There is... Time is of the answers, although I suppose I can answer a few quick questions. Tell me of yourself, Fenthic. I am a servant of Tyr. Nothing more and nothing less. I serve Neverwinter as is my duty, and my heart weeps as the city suffers. When Lord Nasher appointed Aribath to find a cure for the plague, I vowed to stay by my lady's side throughout the ordeal. We are inseparable. So you're lovers? Aribath and I are one of heart, it is true. I is this surprising? We are both disciples of Tyr, we are both servants of Neverwinter. We draw our strength from each other during the these difficult times. In duty, in our faith, and in our love, we will find a way to beat the Wailing Death. Yeah, tell me about her. Aribath is a shining light who must guide our way. She's a paladin of Tyr, and only her courage and devotion to Neverwinter surpass her grace and beauty. When Lord Nasher appointed... Yeah, okay. Um, what about Dester? Da Dester? Dester is a good man, though the Wailing Death weighs heavily on him. He does not serve Tyr as my Lady Arabeth and I do, but his devotion to Helm is most admirable. Dester and his Helmites have been tireless in their efforts to offer what comfort they can to those afflicted by the plague. I only wish Arabeth and Dester could set aside their personal differences. No matter which god we serve, we must all work together in these troubled times. So you're the connection between them two. Huh, that's interesting. Also, I, I get the feeling... I always got that feeling that um, that Fenthic, Fenthic and Aribat are, are kind of a one-sided relationship. She really, he really looks up to her. Uh, like she's like a guardian angel sort of thing. And um, I guess we'll find out what she finds in him. So yeah, uh, tell me about these Waterdavian creatures. Aribat is the only one who has the authority to speak of such things freely. You will have to talk to her at the halls of justice. Okay, I'll meet you there within the week then. There is much to attend to in the coming week. Aribath and I will meet you at the temple. May Tyr's blessing be upon you, Giladel. And I leveled up again! Fantastic! And before I end the episode, and before we go through that door, which we're gonna do next episode, because, you know, just to fresh up the memory, because that's gonna have a cutscene. Um, so, for right now, let me look at my character sheet. Let's level up, and we're gonna be a ranger, of course. We're gonna bring up our uh, level 5 skills. All of them, and try to catch up on the uh, on this one. The set traps right there. Uh, although nah, that'll be kind of, kind of a let's go with spot and search. I think that's good. And I'm gonna wait for these. Soon enough, we'll be we'll have points to spare. Really, I think I, I think anyway. Uh, but yeah, that's that. Oh, look at that! We have a feat. So finally, we can go with them. Um, I know we probably can't. I don't know what, what of. Um, I don't know what uh, Zen archery. What's that for? Uh, base attack bonus plus three, wisdom plus thirteen. Is that the oh? That's a prerequisite. Pre uh, wisdom guides the uh, uh, character's range attacks, letting them use their wisdom modifier if it is higher instead of the dexterity. When oh, that's not good for us. It's an uh, it's an interesting way of doing that, but nah, it's not. There's no real interest in that. Um, what I want is uh, the cold shot would be a nice one actually. Yeah, there it is, cold shot. Well, let's go with that. 
Because I don't have the point blank shot. I do have. Let's go with point blank shot because that is more important, I think. That it will allow us to uh, fight up close without any debuffs. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Neverwinter Nights. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did and you want to see more episodes come out sooner, be sure to leave a like down below. Leave a comment as well while you're at it. But above all, above everything else, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.